Today on Comrade Toshis, we talk the toys of lights. Welcome back everyone, Toishis here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new Diamond Select Marvel Select Titanium Man action figure, which I am super stoked on this. And thank you to Diamond Select for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look. This thing looks amazing when they showed this i was like that's some classic looking marvel right there and that's what i think of with the titanium man that and the old iron man animated series but we'll have a look at him a little bit later however the artwork on the side of the box is muy fantastico that looks amazing and on the back side you get a nice look at the action figure he looks all crisp and green right there you do get old man toy galaxy doing his best Boris Bulski impression right there. And then if you want, you can screen grab this and learn a little bit more about the Titanium Man. It's Boris Bulski. He's a huge, huge dude. He just wrecks everything. But this is like the old school Titanium Man. So Russian guy hates Tony Stark, yada yada. This figure was designed by Yuri Taming and sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee because it's cold out there in Russia. This is a look at the brand new Marvel Select Titanium Man by Diamond Select. And here's Boris the Bull Bullski out of the packaging. And yes, if you're hoping for a giant massive Iron Man villain, then look no further, especially those if you are going the Marvel Legends route. I would say that he actually works perfectly with his oversized Marvel Select height. You do get a couple extra hands. You get the more come here Tony Stark, I'm going to crush your skull kind of hands. There is a little bit of paint chippage in the joints. They paint the joints kind of like a NECA Toys sort of deal. And you get a nice big fisted hand as well. Then you get the Boris head. And... It's painted really nicely. Giant, massive man head right there. <laughs> I wouldn't say it looks exactly how it sports on the box. A little bit of a different paint job. But it's done nicely and you get a really awesome Titanium Man figure. This thing absolutely rocks. I love the articulation in the head and such. I would say the face, it looks a little sad. But at the same time, it's supposed to be like that. If you look at the comics, he just kind of has that expression. So depending on how you turn him. In terms of the arms, you do get some nice articulation. Again, big, chunky, heavy figure on this guy. But you do get some nice mobility. You have single jointed elbows and you have the wrists will spin and rotate. However, just keep in mind, the wrist can be kind of loose in some aspects. He doesn't have much of an ab crunch, but he will rotate and move around up top in the upper abdominal section and nothing at the waist the skirt is very malleable it'll work with you you can get his legs kicking out see it's like a rubbery piece right there kicking out kicking back kick to the sides little cuts in the skirt will help you with all that mobility single jointed knees all pinless joints by the way that's pretty cool and he's got some nice ankle rotation rock to and fro really nice you can kind of see a little bit of paint chippage in the actual joints when you move it around, but it's still a green color. But yeah, overall, very, very cool. And if you wanna swap the heads, it looks fantastic. Now, one thing I'll say is that when you have this really cool sculpted human head, but you put it up against a titanium man's head, there's no way that head's fitting in that giant bucket right there. So that's one thing, it's just a little bit too big in that sense, but I do like the unmasked head on top of the body i think that that looks really cool if you look at the old comic books it matches it fits really nice articulation for what you're getting for this guy and just when you put the titanium man head on the different expressions you can achieve when you move them around is a lot of fun and like i said if you want to put him with marvel legends iron man villains and such or any characters whatever you want to do he scales nicely you can beat the tar out of iron man if you wanted to go that route He's supposed to be a giant titanium man. And I think Marvel Select has really achieved that there. It's a menacing figure for your shelf. Now, I have the original Toy Biz titanium man figure. It's a little bit of a different aspect, different take. I think, if I remember correctly, they kind of mashed a bunch. Yes, he's still like a Russian guy, but he's like a techno organic being created by Modok. So he kind of has some of that gremlin sort of stuff from the comics. It's kind of like a mishmash, right? 
But it's still a very cool looking Titanium Man figure. However, while I do like this design, this new one is absolutely what I think of now with the Titanium Man. That is such a cool looking old fashioned Marvel robot that I absolutely love. And as you can see, yeah, he's a huge hulking figure. Even Surtur, though, does dwarf him in size. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Titanium Man by Diamond Select. And thank you again to Diamond Select for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look. If you are a big Iron Man fan or if you got a bunch of Marvel Legends or heck, even Marvel Select, Iron Man figures, Spider-Man, whoever you want to put up against, it looks really cool. And I just think he will have such a presence on your shelf. This is a brick of a figure. I kind of went back and forth. When I saw him in the package with the face, I thought, okay, well, it kind of looks like a frowny face. But as you kind of move him around, you see the different aspects to him. You tilt the head, you cock it to and fro, whatever you want to do. You start to kind of bring it alive so the face does work however I wouldn't have mind some swapped out face plates something like that that would have been kind of cool maybe some blast effect something like that just to kind of add something to it other than that you get a couple extra fists a couple extra heads it does work for me in that sense yeah you get some scaling issues compared from the human head to the regular head but you know what it works for what it is it looks cool and I think they knocked it out of the park. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Titanium Man. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Iron Man. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, have a fantastic weekend. Live it up. Have a great time. And if there's time, maybe go out there and find a Titanium Man. Check your local comic book store. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.